go to heaven, come back and not brag about it, it's because he was before a holy, righteous God. There was nothing to brag about except to spend his life telling others, warning them about the wrath to come. That was what his life was about. Not telling others, hey, look at me, I went to heaven and I came back. He came back to tell others about the one he went to see, Jesus Christ. Amen. And he's the one you need to place your faith in. He's the only one that can save you. Get among the mature. He's doing part of it. The only wisdom on this earth is the wisdom from Christ. Although it is not the wisdom of this age, everybody out here probably thinks the crazy guy on the box, I know more than he does. He's got to be insane. Why is he out here telling me what I should be doing? I'm not. I'm taking this out of God's holy word and just proclaiming it to you. His sheep will hear his voice. If you hear it and repent, that's great. If you don't keep walking, you're still going to face him on judgment day. And we love you enough to tell you right now that Christ loves you and you need to repent and turn from the wicked ways so you don't have to face his wrath. So you can spend an eternity with him in bliss and in joy. But we impact in secret and hidden from the of God. Which God you created before the ages of our glory. See, God sees everything. Sees time. There is no time to God. So you think you have all the time in the world. You make you get your life straight. Turn it around one day. You don't have time. You're not promised your next breath. You can go on like that. And we don't want to come out here and preach hate. We don't hate anybody.